Today, I'm gonna film day in the life. This is an everyday thing. I mean, I don't wake up seven a.m. every day. Before I used to do it, we used to wake up six a.m. every day. Train Tony Sunberg, Tony Wild. God damn, Tony used to wait for me. That's the same. And when I come in, it's pitch dark, but no one's in there. Cinema? That's kind of crazy to think of. Going from that to what we're in now. Best plane in the world. I call it when nobody else believed in it. We were sitting at a dinner back in 2017. I think 17, and everyone at the table, Moses Morgan, David Arnold, Horace Nguyen, Antonio Garbalado, David Singleton, Lenny Daniel, everyone, everyone at the table. Nah, Luca gonna be a bust. He's too slow for everybody. I was the one who believed. If you're watching this, all of you guys, Lenny, you still owe me a pair of Nike IDs. I keep tabs on that. I swear, I was the only one believing in it. One of the guys that I used to hang out with in Sweden, he used to come back in the summers. And he's like, damn, this this kid. He's like crazy. He was like six six back then. Got yeah, that move like a guard, lighter. But now, just play the right way. Luca is younger than me. But I look up to him so much, you know. The way he plays, it's just the right way. It's just so fun to watch everything. There you go. One. Very good. Good speed too. Let's go. In your imagination, Lionel. Where's the defender at? Ah, right in. Nice. Three, that's hard to guard. Be in your own imagination. Very good. I like when you use the screen. Come off here, boom. Now you can win. whatever you want. But I think the, the quickest move that you have is here. Give me that one. Let's go. Yeah. Good. Very good, beautiful. Come off that screen now, look for the roll. The roll is not there, then you make the move go by. That's that in Lino? Come off now, look here. Set the screen, I set the screen. He's rolling, look for the screen, and then you fake, and then you go to the middle. So look for the, look for the roll as well. There you go. Three, good, two more. Give it that, come in baseline. Now, choose to go one foot or two feet, up to you. Don't just go one foot all the time. One foot or two feet, you're gonna get in a different situation. But Lionel, why is, it, why is it sometimes better to go two feet? Balance, but also, if, you don't, if it's not there, you can, you can land in it, right? You don't really need to finish it all the time. So go both, go both. Nice. Same thing, into the middle, let's go. Let's go, come on. Middle is easier, it's easier. Come on, you get five easy ones. Come on, you got it, you got it, you got it. We got a, we got a water break after, come on. You got it, 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 Lionel, you got it, Lionel. Last five. He's coming back. I can feel it, he's coming back. Yep, yep. The dog is coming back. I can feel it. I thought of it, we don't need to stress them coming to a three-point shot so early, because they're so confident in their mid-range, so we don't need to stress it. they like what? He's like 13 years old. But it's scary how good they get. The younger, like this new generation, they know so much already. Side steps, so I didn't know that shit. And you see the, the way when, when Angus is shooting the ball right now, his shoot is so good. Like, it's like so much spin on the ball. It's so confident too. Let's go, Lionel. Now, same thing, you're coming off the screen. Boom, now you can fake it. Come in, mid-range shot. You gotta fake the, you gotta fake the pass, because you know, a is gonna roll every time, right? You're coming off here, you can fake it.
I love when I show when I make it like that. Here, when you come here, Lino, the defender gonna either drop, right? Or he's just gonna be like, he's switching on you. So now we really have to fake it. Like, and then go sideways. And then shoot it. Okay? Four. Come on. Last one. Other side, same thing. Good, Lino. Very good. There you go. I like that. That's a game rep. Perfect. Automatic, bro. So, let me get a workout in there. I got this new drill I really like. If I go 10, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ah. And if I, if I miss it, I gotta restart. Fucking annoying. I gotta make five. You know what the funny thing is? I really don't need to do this shit. I really just do it because I love it. Man. I can go home and sleep now if I want. Eat some breakfast, chill out my bed, wait till the afternoon session. I really love this game. It's my eighth spot, times 25. But this is faster than the shooting machine though. Yeah. This is way faster than the shooting machine. I hate to do it, but I love to finish it. It's weird, huh? I hate to do it, but I love to finish it. So. Ngày mai đi Hàn Quốc rồi. Thì đâu giải hay sao anh? Ừ. Thì em có xem cái cái Netflix cái có 100 cái 100 strong strong hay gì á? Em phải cắt tóc bên em chứ. Mấy ông ngoại bên có qua đeo, mấy ngoại bên VBA á Anh thấy có mấy ông qua mà, phải không? Hassan Thomas với Berkeley đó qua Berkeley chắc là số 1 Việt Nam rồi Không ạ, Berkeley là số 1 Việt Nam rồi, không ai đánh mà nó Sơn thì sao? Sơn thì ok, chắc là Heritage là ngon nhất rồi Kiểu Việt Kiều là ngon nhất rồi Mà nhìn trông nó không Việt Kiều lắm nhỉ? Ừ Các bạn dễ thương không? Bạn ấy dễ thương không? Dạ Dễ thương không? Dễ thương thật hai bạn cả hai bạn ờ, số 1 Việt Nam không ai không ai đánh như nó từ từ hồi bóng rổ Việt Nam bắt đầu đến giờ không ai đánh bạn nó thật đấy nó hay nó thế em làm em mở chỗ này lâu lâu rồi hai năm rồi ba năm rồi nhanh nhở hồi đó ấy, là cắt ở bên quận 3 cơ sau rồi anh em mình rủ nhau thôi bây giờ cứ mở riêng đi 
Để hồi đó Steph cũng đang dạy là dạy toàn ngoài trời thôi Và ông này ông cứ cắt trong kia thôi Rồi thôi mở dưới ngay mở dưới ngay sau Nghĩa là bây giờ cả hai ông hai Chưa phải bảo là thành công nhưng mà vẫn làm được rồi Làm được một bước What? No, they got too much heat here today, man. I thought it was Luca. This one, I wanted this one for a while. I haven't had a chance to get them. I love t-shirts, bro. Look at this. I love t-shirts that has a front and a back. It looks so cool. I like it. You here see me wear it a lot. Freaky. Heaters. Nike is getting it, bro. What? Front and back. Front and back. Everything. What should I wear for Korea, though? I'm getting these for sure. But my thing is that I'm not wearing it that much. I get the whole point of having them, but I don't wear it that much. It doesn't make sense for me. Okay, so, listen up. Basketball hoopers in Vietnam. The secret to get an easy between the leg dribble is you just play with running shorts. That shit works for me so, so much. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know about this, man. Is this too much? <laughs> yeah, I don't know, man. Yo, what is this? Feel this. What is this? Bro, what? What is this material? Korea? This for Korea? What do you think? Clean? Ah, I can't hoop it. Oh no, man. If I can't hoop in it, I don't want it. Whew. That's clean. It's the Korea vibe. <laughs> no one's answering, bro. Good luck tonight, bro. I'm so nervous. Lucas playing tonight. I hope we win. I'm very blessed. I'm in a blessed position where I can do this stuff for not only myself, but also for my for all the kids in, in next level, right? But also for Tan Four kids. It's just a way for me to like kind of give back, but also for Nike to actually. It started as a I was a KOL for them, an influencer, a basketball influencer for them. But it's it's funny how. When you just do right for yourself and you you kind of push yourself to be a good person and then you know emphasize working hard and panned out from being a kol to now they sponsoring the whole next level it's kind of huge and they've been doing it now since 2018 so five years of of picking up stuff here right so i'm, I'm super super grateful for it i'm really excited for what we have coming up we had a three-point shootout that now he's a VBA player, he played for Talang Wars last year. He played for Dolphins this year now. And he won the first first one of the shooter who, who can make the most three points in a row, I think. And to see him, you know, win it and then, you know, go to where he is now. Small steps, but hopefully. I don't even think Nike see it this way, but <clears throat> Nike being who they are, the ACFC, Swish Life, being who they are is it's kind of huge the mission that you guys are on by spreading basketball and making it popular i mean see look at this basketball section it's a half to got them stores basketball i mean you guys is a huge part of of growing the game i don't see any football shoes in here or anything like that right Where, whereas they're really pushing basketball like this got them 20 30 different pair of basketball shoes and you know, for me, for coming from Sweden to Vietnam, and then when I came to Vietnam, it was impossible to find basketball shoes. I mean, shout out to Sean Paul shop back then. I mean, that was probably the only place. And then, you know, in Saigon. So we had to like go to Hoop Station in Malaysia to get shoes. I still remember that. I, I didn't have any shoes. When Nike started this, I mean, for them to push it, shout out to Louis and Philip Nguyen. You guys are doing such a huge job with everything you guys are doing, pushing the culture forward. But knowing that you guys are also like, you know, Bay Area Warriors heads. It makes it so fun. Every time, every time I run into you guys, you guys always talk about basketball with me. I appreciate you guys so much. You guys are doing so much for this. And I kinda, I don't know, I can, I can say like, you know, thank you, thank you, thank you, but 
really thank you thank you for for helping me and helping helping me to grow the basketball from the U7 kids seven years old asking me where to buy basketball shoes I always say ACFC not because like, you guys are sponsoring us or anything it's really because I really believe here is the best basketball sortment in, in Vietnam I mean every Vincom every city like everywhere I see an ACFC Nike store I just know that hey you guys come here you guys get good professional help why do I say professional help because you guys have guys that plays basketball like we play against Nike ACFC next level plays against Nike ACFC staff you guys are doing the right thing a little bit like what we do at next level like all our coaches know how to play basketball same thing with you guys you, you, half your staff here we I see them now running around with them now and I see them at my gym we're playing you know up and down so in, in one sense it's just like I'm so happy that there is people that want to push basketball because it could have been different could have been running shoes all over could have been football shoes could have been whatever but the fact that you guys believe in basketball and push basketball is something I will be forever grateful for because you guys are doing it exactly with the same mission as I am doing right just wanted to grow basketball out here in Vietnam and I feel like right now we are growing the game I really appreciate it yeah I wouldn't choose it over anything else I mean even if we weren't sponsored by Nike I would still wear Nike right I think everybody can say that for me Personally, Nike for me is number one. And there's no number two, like you know. But also, if you're next level, if you're next level, you get 30% off. But you gotta get the membership card from me. Just let me know if you need it. So yeah, that's my little story with Nike. I appreciate you guys so much. So I think we can pick that stuff up now and go back. Let's go. Dude, I'm so excited for Luca tonight. You know, I really do this though. So all our, all our kids, sometimes have their birthdays. What I do is I give this, this stuff away as birthday gifts as well. So I don't use all of it. I mean, most of the kids don't have birthdays. So I give them as a birthday gift. Who doesn't want a Nike t-shirt? You don't want a Nike t-shirt? Who doesn't want a Nike t-shirt? Come on, yeah. Come on, yeah. Come on. Let's go. It's too easy for you, man. Go, Noah! Uh, Noah! Noah! Don't forget the ball! Good, Noah. Ah! Balta! Good, Balta! See, easier, huh? Go now, go now, go now. Noi ban, bơi nhảy bơi nhồi. Thử đi. Cho xem nào. Cho xem xem nào. Bơi nhảy bơi nhồi. Cho xem nào. Bơi nhảy bơi nhồi. Đúng rồi. Thế rồi. Bơi nhảy bơi nhồi nhé thưa ông. Cơ gì đan? Quá đẹp. Cầu thủ bóng đá bóng rổ. Future Tan Po. Future Tan Po for sure. Got to be a quick decision on his part. But here he's talking about the game. We just lost. Terrible refereeing, but you should never blame the referee. He's so emotional my thing is every time i complain i never heard a referee change a call so it doesn't really make sense to me you can always talk to the referee like yo look at this next time or whatever like i learned that over the years that there's a different ways to like be on the referee side like yo look at him he's on three seconds too long and stuff so there's a few tips and tricks that you might see when we play S uh, bbc or spl so that's it. That's not really how a normal day looks like. I think uh, the... I mean... That's what we do here at Next Level. We uh, train kids, we train ourselves, and then we train... train our minds. 
with the swimming. Now, thank you for following us today. I really appreciate you guys checking in, and I see that uh, you guys en enjoy the one-on-one -on -one content. So it's going to be more one-on-one -on -one content coming up. Uh, we have a few games that are scheduled, but we also have a few tournaments and leagues that's going to be interesting to follow. So uh, thank you for joining us today, and uh, let's see what we do next.